Searching for the best WordPress host on Google is a minefield. Results are plagued by fluffy reviews recommending hosts like Bluehost that also happen to pay large commission payouts. I want to avoid that. This is my attempt at an honest guide. Like other reviewers, I also make money on affiliate links, but my hope is that as this video progresses, you're going to see that my recommendations are based on research and uh, an honest assessment. So first I'll tell you my recommendations and then I'll explain how I got to them. I'd recommend two different WordPress hosts, SiteGround and Kinsta. SiteGround starts at $12 a month and I'd suggest it for small business websites with less than 10,000 monthly visitors. It's fast and reliable and it's one of the few hosts in the entry level tier that's not owned by EIG and I'll talk more about EIG later in the video. Kinsta starts at $25 a month and I'd suggest it for websites with more than 10,000 monthly visitors. It has excellent uptime, excellent customer service, an intuitive interface for managing WordPress websites, and honest upfront pricing. If it's within your budget, it's definitely worth using. So how did I come to this conclusion? Here's how I sort through the hundreds of WordPress host options. It's common for WordPress hosts to advertise unlimited bandwidth and unlimited storage, but is it truly unlimited? You probably guessed the answer. No, it's not unlimited. In fact, there's no such thing as unlimited. Instead, when a host advertises unlimited bandwidth or unlimited storage, they just mean that they're not setting a specific limit. Instead, they expect you to use bandwidth or storage appropriately. And if you don't use it appropriately, they reserve the right to terminate your hosting. So who decides what's appropriate? Well, they do, of course. For example, take a look at the terms of service from Bluehost. Bluehost advertises unlimited hosting, but in, in the fine print, they say they'll terminate your account if you use too many resources. Neither Kinsta or SiteGround advertise unlimited bandwidth or storage. Instead, they tell you the exact amount that you can use. And I think it's better to know the limits than to have some hidden arbitrary limit surprise you later down the road. When you pay for a WordPress host, you're actually not getting your own physical server. Instead, you're paying to share space on a server with other WordPress websites. This is what shared hosting means. Shared hosting is necessary because running your own physical server, which is called dedicated hosting, it's expensive. It costs around $100 a month. Shared hosting lowers that cost considerably. But there's a catch. Shared hosting relies on the web host to not overload the server with too many websites. And unfortunately, overloading is a common way for WordPress hosts to increase profit margins. So one of the keys when you're looking for a WordPress host is to look for a host that isn't overloading their servers. Fortunately, websites like ReviewSignal publish research around this, and I've included a link to their helpful benchmarking reports in the video description below. One of the reasons I feel comfortable recommending SiteGround and Kinsta is because they're consistent high performers in review signals testing. You can go deep, really deep, researching speed and uptime, but I'd caution you not to go overboard because there are plenty of other things that impact website speed besides your web host. For example, nothing slows down a WordPress website more than overloading it with crappy plugins. So you could be on the fastest WordPress host in the world, but be totally slowed and throttled by a crappy plugin. Don't expect outstanding support if you're paying less than $10 a month. With customer support, you get what you pay for, and good customer support costs money. Usually cheaper hosts try to avoid human support as much as possible by suggesting help and knowledge base articles. You probably don't want that. Imagine your car is broken and the mechanic just throws you the manual. That's not ideal. A quick word about managed hosting. A catch-all term that's become popular in WordPress host marketing. Basically, it means that the host has created tools around security, backups, and performance. You definitely want backups. Working without backups is like working without a safety net. What happens if you accidentally delete a database field? Knowing that you can roll back to yesterday's backup reduces the risk of something going horribly wrong. Always remember, the best way to keep your WordPress website secure is to keep WordPress upgraded to the latest version. 
Bluehost is one of the most well-known names in WordPress hosting. You find them everywhere. WooCommerce promotes them. Pat Flynn promotes them and plenty of other bloggers. Unfortunately, I believe Bluehost is widely promoted because they provide high affiliate payouts. I don't recommend them. You don't have to search long in Reddit to find negative stories about Bluehost. In fact, the first three stories in my search were all negative. Plus, when I tested Bluehost for this review with my own credit card, I noticed they added additional items to my shopping cart during checkout. They did this without even telling me. This is extremely deceptive. Avoid this company. Bluehost is owned by EIG and basically I'd suggest avoiding any web hosting company owned by EIG. Unfortunately, EIG has bought up a large chunk of the WordPress hosting space. They own 80 plus brands, including HostMonster, Homestead, HostGator, iPage, and Site5. I've linked the most complete list of them in the video description below, but no one knows the total amount of EIG properties because EIG doesn't like to publicize when they purchase a host as they have kind of a bad reputation for ruining the hosts they buy. All EIG hosts seem to suffer the same fate, slow support and slow sites due to overselling. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your WordPress website. If you'd like to try Kinsta or SiteGround, my recommended hosts, you can find a link to them in the video description below.